Hello, my beautiful Geekables. Welcome to my new subscribers and hello again to my returning subscribers. I have been on quite the journey. I have made progress on Dragon Ball Z, um, well, Dragon Ball Z Super. Um, I have made progress on Naruto. I have made progress on Demon Slayer. <laughs> I have made a lot of progress. I was just, I was watching. I was watching um, all day yesterday. I was just, I was just going. I was going. So um, I'm thoroughly invested in all of these shows. It's great. So I realized we are up to Dragon Ball Z Abridged Episode 3. So that is what we're going to do now. I got my headphone. I got my blankie. And I've got Oliver. So stick around. Let's get the headphone in and let's press play. What do you think? I'm ready for I'm ready for abridged episode three. These are hilarious. I love these. I love these. It's great. It's great. And, and since I know I'm no more of the characters now, because I feel because I've I've gotten pretty far. I feel good. So let's roll. The following of the Pan Days parody, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are alone by Funimation Toy Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. Well, Goku was passed, but his sacrifice has stopped a great evil. Thanks to He's him, our long. lives can return to peace once more. Raditz! Raditz! <laughs> what the hell is that? Guy who's as strong as a Cyberman says what? <laughs> that usually gets to him. I think he's dead, Vegeta. Big shocker, nobody cares. We're ten times stronger than him anyway. We'll go to Earth, find the Dragon Balls, and kill everyone. And we'll be there within a year or so. Depending on filler, of course. <laughs> Anything else we need to go over, Vegeta? Nope. That's about it. <laughs> well. Well. Peace. <laughs> You can't not dance to it. Even if it's it's a silly dance, you can really dance. <laughs> chili! It's chili. Okay, ready. I know I'm wearing a tank top when I say it's chili. Back on my blanket. Let me know. <laughs> so little. Oh shit. Eee. Not for long. Not for long. <laughs> it's a heavenly checking station. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she made him hugging. Sounds fun. Prepare to be he surprised. Says sounds fun. All right, I'm off. Oh, wait. By the way, did you see a guy named Raditz come through here? He has spiky hair and a tail. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that guy. I put him in my patented Yamalock. And it worked? No, he kicked me in the balls and ran away. Now I don't know where he is. Oh shit. He didn't keep his eye on the birdie. Huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These are well, ridiculous. See you I next love time them. you die. Mahogany. <laughs> so, so Krillin, stupid. how did Chi Chi take the news? Um. Well, Krillin, what did you need to talk about? So, Chi Chi, hypothetically, what would you do if you were told that your husband was dead and your son were kidnapped by his worst enemy? I'd cast. 
frustrate the messenger in his sleep with a rusty carving knife. Oh, then it's a good thing I'm not telling you that. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to spend the night? Uh, against my better judgment. Against my better judgment. You. You. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> relatively well. She took so, it relatively well. So, are you going to gather the other Z warriors and go train with Kami? The who warriors? The Z warriors. You, Goku, Tien, Yamcha, Chatsu. That's what we always call them. Where did that scouter come That's from? That's the stupidest thing I've ever. Krillin! Where the hell are you? Well, I'm up to gather the Z warriors. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Listen up, runt. Today we're going to commence your intense training under me. But wait, wouldn't that cause horrible muscle degeneration for somebody my age? Crippling me for years to come? You're a wordy little bastard, aren't you? <laughs> my mom wants me to become an orphan. NERD! What? Anyway, I figured to unleash your hidden potential, I'd have to put you in immense physical danger. So I'm gonna throw you at that mountain. Oh, God. Actually, that looks more like a put- <laughs> Any second now. Here it comes. And. Ooh. This is gonna be a long training session. Wait, you just threw a toddler at a friggin' All mountain, right, Mr. dude. Must man, here you are at Snake Way. Now, you might want to pack a lunch, because it's gonna be a long run. Now, I'm just joking, you're not gonna be eating none. <laughs> wow. That looks like it's gonna take me a while. Now be careful running, you don't want to fall off and die. That's just a little bit of dead humor. But seriously, do not fall off or you will go to hell. Oh shit. Has anyone ever run the whole thing before? Well, there was one man. Well, who was he? I believe his name was... Mr. Popo! Yes, Tommy? I just received word that we have a new batch of trainees coming. Make sure you take good care of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not and not just any mahogany, but mahogany from the planet of Malkyor 7, mahogany. where the trees are 300 feet tall and breathe fire! From these trees, this desk was forged 2,000 years ago using ancient blood rituals of the Malkior people. Oh. Not only does this make my desk nigh indestructible, but it can bend the fabric of the universe itself. Also, it's a very fine material. Very expensive. Very. <laughs> okay. Mahogany. It's mahogany. Jesus. I don't know what to do with these. These are hilarious. And, and, and that was, that was, that was episode three, my Geekables. We are up to date. Well, not up to date. We're up to episode three. We just, we've, we've completed it. We're good. Thank you, Team Four Star, for these because they are helpful and hilarious. <laughs> All right, my beautiful Geekables, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow along for Geekable content that continues and we have fun here love each and every one of you do everything today with love and i'll see you next time bye